Hi everyone, it's Nathan uh, here to talk more with you about type 1 diabetes. I think something that's really interesting is the idea of a cure for type 1 diabetes. And when you speak with people, they're always like, oh yes, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And so I just wanted to share with you a story from my childhood about that and kind of how my thoughts and feelings about a cure for type 1 diabetes has evolved over time and where my head's at now. So I have to like go way back uh, to when I was first diagnosed. I was six years old and I was in the hospital and the doctor came into my hospital room and he basically said, Nathan, don't worry about this. In five years, there's going to be a cure. And I was six years old, so I took that very, very literally, as if there was a countdown clock and there was a hard deadline on five years from now there being a cure. And so fast forward five years, and I'm now 11, and uh, February 22nd comes around, which is uh, the date of my diagnosis, and there was no cure. And I remember having this feeling of tremendous disappointment and being very upset because I felt betrayed. Like I felt like I had put my trust in my doctor and he had told me that there would be a cure and the appointed time had come and there wasn't a cure. So at that point, I had to reevaluate my thoughts on a cure for type one diabetes and if that was going to be happening. And I think really kind of as an adolescent, I, I kind of put that out of my head. I didn't think too, too much about it. But as I got older and I started learning more about how the world works, I saw some things that made me pretty upset. So for example, one thing that I realized is that I am a money-making machine for insurance companies and pharmaceutical companies. And every single type 1 diabetic out there is a money machine for these companies. And that's because we're lifetime customers. We need health insurance. We need insulin. So, so long as they are the ones providing insurance and providing insulin, we are going to be paying them money. I found that thought to be really disheartening and the bottom line of it is it's economics. Like it's more profitable for these companies to come up with better and better ways to manage type 1 diabetes than to actually cure type 1 diabetes. Now that's not to say that there aren't really fantastic organizations out there working on a cure. There definitely are. But these companies don't necessarily care about a cure as much as I do or other type 1 diabetics. They're really just more interested in filling their own coffers and they want to keep me as a type 1 diabetic as long as possible because I'm always going to be paying them money for insurance and medication. I kind of held this view that there's not going to be a cure because of the economics of the situation uh, for quite some time. I would say up until maybe the last year and a half or so. And I can't honestly say that my feelings have totally changed, but I will say there's like a glimmer of hope now. I guess also it was easier to not think that there was going to be a cure because it's really difficult. Like when I experienced, when I was 11, it was really difficult to like have this hope and this dream and for it to not come to fruition. So in some ways, it's just easier, instead of hoping for something, to say this can't happen, and now I'm just gonna get on with my life and think about what I have to do. But now, I kind of have a glimmer of hope again, and that's because my nurse practitioner, who I trust with my life, she basically told me over the past few years that she kind of shared my general feeling about there not being a cure, but a little while ago she said that she's changed her mind. That's because of the rapid advancement of medical technology for diabetic care. 
So things like CGMs and insulin pumps, and devices that are communicating with each other that didn't exist 20 years ago, they're prevalent now and people are using them and they work. And so her mind changed and to hear that she had a shift in thinking really had an impact on me. And so I think that there's definitely the possibility of a cure and it may be a ways off, but I do have a hope now that at some point in the future, in my lifetime, there will be a legitimate cure for diabetes. And that's really a wonderful thought. Like I sometimes I think about that and the implications that has for me and for other people. And like, I can't help but get a little bit choked up. Like it's just the idea of being able to eat a meal and not think about how many carbohydrates are in it or think about how it's going to affect me in three hours. It seems like such a little nothing uh, for someone who doesn't think about that stuff, but I know that every type one diabetic out there can identify with the those feelings and understand what that really means. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, I'm gonna put all links for social media and my blog and things like that below. Please follow my blog. I'll write things there that I don't post videos about. I even just recently revamped it, so it should look nice and crisp and fresh. So uh, check it out. I appreciate you watching, and you'll see me next time.